Are still looking for a motive in the shooting at a ballroom dance club in California. An 11th victim died today. WGN Shannon Halligan has the latest. Shannon. Yeah, officials have not released information about the 11th fatality, but all except one of the others were 60 or older. Law enforcement officers said it was the largest mass shooting in Los Angeles County history, but said the death toll could have been even worse if a hero had not stopped the shooter. The Monterey Park mass shooting sent shockwaves through the community, which hosts one of the biggest Lunar New Year festivals in the nation. This was a, a moment that was supposed to be a moment of celebration. Officials held a news conference releasing new information into the shooting that left 11 people dead and nine others injured. The L.A. County Sheriff said a search of the suspected gunman's home turned up hundreds of rounds of ammunition and evidence he was manufacturing gun silencers. We recovered one 308 caliber rifle, numerous electronic devices such as cell phones, computers, etc. Items that lead us to believe the suspect was manufacturing homemade firearm suppressors. Police said the 72 year old suspect fired 42 rounds at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio. Soon after, he drove to another nearby dance hall where Brandon Shea told ABC's Good Morning America he was able to wrestle a gun away from the suspect. I was able to pull the gun away from him, shove him aside, create some distance, point the gun at him, intimidate him, shot him and say, get the hell out of here, I'll shoot, get away, go. He's being hailed as a hero. The suspect was later found dead in his van from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Police are still searching for a motive in the shooting, but investigators say they intend to find out what led up to this tragedy. This is disturbing. Uh, I, I don't, how can you even come to reason that somebody would even think about doing something like this? It's, it's, it's horrendous. The suspected gunman had reportedly visited Hemet police twice this month. He told police say he was the victim of fraud, theft, and poisoning by family members a decade or two ago. The sheriff said the suspect had a previous conviction for unlawful possession of a firearm in 1990, but otherwise had a limited criminal history. Thanks for the latest there, Shannon.